How long have you been with KFC? Three years. Three years? Yeah. I had one of those wings. They're fantastic, man. He is the man at the helm of one of the largest yeah, restaurant that. chains on the planet, David Novak of Yum Brands. With more than 36,000 Taco Bell, Pizza Hut, and KFC locations in 117 countries, Yum calls itself the company that feeds the world. And the world, according to Novak, still offers huge opportunities, particularly China. China's GDP growth is still in the 8% range, and uh, I think the big tailwind that transcends everything, and especially when we look at our business, is just the growth in the consumer population. The consuming class now is, is 300 million, and all the experts say within eight, within eight years it'll be 600 million. So that kind of growth is happening. There's just more and more customers, and you know our food is very affordable. So we think we're in really good shape to to deal through the the economic uh, ups and downs. Very hard uh, to have to navigate a company through these times. 2011 was extremely difficult. There's so much volatility. You hear a lot of business leaders say. I, I can't see the future. I, I, how can I make decisions about the company when I, I can't see the future? Um, is 2012 going to get any better, or is that just the sort of the environment we're in right now? The global economy varies. You know, the U.S. is, is still struggling. In the U.S., you've got the consumer sentiment and confidence at, at 2009 levels. Those are challenging times to do business. China, India, I can talk about Africa, Indonesia, Vietnam. We have three restaurants per million people. In the United States, we have 60 restaurants per million people. So we're on the ground floor of global growth uh, with China and a whole lot more. And we think we have opportunity to grow in the U.S. as well. Novak has been the chairman and CEO of Yum Brands for more than a decade. This year, he adds another title, author. His new book on leadership, Taking People With You, has just been published. He says motivating the workforce is key to a company's success. Leadership starts with the basic respect for every individual and the fact that they can make a difference in your enterprise. So I think you have to go to work every single day knowing that everybody in your company counts and everybody wants to contribute to, to being part of something, something great. I think the leaders that, that are highly self-aware of the fact that, uh, you know, they're not perfect, okay? You need help. And if you can get everybody on your team helping you and helping grow the business, you're going to be ten times better. There's been so much talk about um, economic injustice, compensation issues, yet you say that most people don't quit because of pay. They quit for other reasons. Yeah, there's two reasons why people generally move, move from one company to another. Uh, number one, they don't get along with their, their boss. That's why we try to develop coaches. Coaching is a much better mindset to have than, than telling someone what they need to do. The second thing is they leave because they don't feel appreciated. And that's why we have a lot of fun recognizing people for what they do. All of our leaders are expected to have individual recognition awards. What are you most sort of enthusiastic about in terms of Yum's plans for 2012? Well, I have to start with China. I mean, you know, it's, it's, still, it's just a huge business. This was a business where we had 100 restaurants in, in 1997. We have 4,000 now. We have tremendous scale. Uh, we have the leading brands in every category. So i gotta, I got to be excited about China, but the good thing for, for us is that we're developing lots of new opportunities. Uh, India, Africa, we went into five more countries last year. Even in continental Europe, we have the highest average unit volumes in the, uh, that we have in the world for KFC in France, and Germany's not far behind. Is there one thing on your menu from your stores that the whole world seems to like? Oh, I think pan pizza is just loved everywhere. There's nothing like Can't that pan, pan pizza. pizza. Oh, the pan pizza, that crispy crust on the bottom is just, you know, you just can't get enough of that. All right. Next time we talk, we'll go out and we'll have one. All we'll right, do it great. over pan pizza. I'd love to do that. <laughs>